guys, there's not really much to go on about. We've flatlined right around the mid-9,000 range, and we've done nothing here. We've just stayed, and it's become very um, accentuated in the sense it's just there's no volatility at all. So we're in wait mode, and uh, as you can see, this is your area of resistance up here, and we have not gone down under 8,000, and that is the highest probability. I was asked what is most likely to occur, and nothing has changed. We're likely to go down. The only thing that happens, if we go to the Dow and take a look at this, uh, is Trump has tried very hard, and the Fed, uh, with their, their buying, but they're buying into a zombie dead market, and uh, uh, they're just going to exacerbate the situation to the downside more than likely. And uh, you know, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, it was foolish of them to do it, but that's what they they have to do. And I don't know the how much power they have to push it, but they're going against the smart money because the smart money is going to start having reports, economic reports, come out for their companies, and those reports are generally going to be bad. They don't really have a choice because of the disruption that we faced. And uh, the only good thing is the liquidity that's provided by the stimulus bills and all of that has, you know, is a positive. But uh, the overall, you can't undo the damage of this. And, uh, you know, trying to fake it till you make it, you know, Trump is hoping for is a really, uh, it, it's a negative strategy. It's, this is all going to come to roost later in the years to come. Now, usually this occurs uh, after the elections, but I don't know. Um, you know, the smart money is just going to try to benefit off of this. Um, they're not stupid. They're not buying into this, and the ones that are are going to likely get rocked. And um, I, I, I see it's kind of a negative thing. Now, that only is negative on Bitcoin for a, a small period of time because then the inflationary aspects come in. And we're seeing that in the U.S. already. We can tell by the food prices. I'm going to the store. I'm noticing different things going up. I'm noticing shortages. I'm noticing many different elements. So, you know, I'm noticing more homes on the, the market being trying to be sold. Uh, so there are many elements that are all coming to... to you know, uh, true and whatnot. Um, the only thing I could say, and we could see like CVX is here, my favorite short, excuse me, um, is now under the 88. I'm looking forward to go down to the under 80. Um, you know, so these things are playing out correctly and uh, the downside is the path of least resistance from everything that I look at statistically, especially on Bitcoin and, and whatnot, as we, where we are. Um, and then we got Tesla. Tesla is still strong, but still it has plenty of downside. It can, it can go. So waiting for that as well. And I'm, I'm hedged a great deal. And my favorite hedge is gold right here. It made a pop up here. And now it's dropped. It, and there are confluences to a degree, but you know what you're not seeing is what the the real long-term supply and demand dynamics, and those are going to be hidden for a while. Um, you know, Trump is going to try to keep the the prices up, but he's fighting a losing battle. And uh, you know, it's nice he wants to get elected and everything, but the natural you know, predisposition should be to the downside, and it could get ugly. I just don't see how he can overcome it, but unknown, unknown factors, and we're caught in a really weird, you know, one side is buying, the other side is selling, and who's going to win? Um, it should be very interesting. But I've done everything the correct way, and now we just have to wait. And... Uh, this is what I'm really looking for, and there's nothing to really do. Um, just wait and wait, unfortunately. Other than that, you guys have a great week, and I'll update you when something actually happens. <laughs> and it's just uh, a 
boring time, that's all I can say. Anyway, have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.